Today I'm going to be showing you the ideal brow pen for beginners or if your hair is maturing and it's starting to go silver and you find that the brow pens are all too warm and that you need something that gives a very light payoff then this is a really good option. If you have very dark hair naturally then I have other tutorials with other recommendations that will be more ideal for you. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Balayage Brow and this is available in three shades. I'm going to be using medium and dark just to show you how they come out on my skin. I really like this side of the applicator. This is a microfine brush tip very similar to those that I already love such as the Urban Decay and the one by MAC. On the opposite side there is a four prong brow applicator. Not necessarily something I would reach for however if you struggle with brush strokes then you might find this to be very useful. Again that is why it's ideal for beginners. If you've seen my brow tutorials in the past, you know I always start at the base of my eyebrow. What's great about this pen is if you make a mistake, it's light enough that you can wipe it away before it sets in place. Also, if you make a mistake, because it is so light, it's not going to be that visible. Therefore, you don't have to be as precise. You can keep flicking through little tiny brow hairs to really build it up, layering over the lines that you've already created. Because it is so fair, you really can't make too much of a big deal with your brows using these pens. So I started off with the medium shade at the front of the eyebrow. I'm now using the dark shade. This is the darkest shade that they offer. So again, if you have darker, deeper hair naturally, or you want more of a defined line, you can either layer this product or you can switch to a product that offer more shades. The idea when you're filling in your brows for a very natural finish is to follow the direction that your brows naturally lay. That way you'll get the most natural finish unless your brows grow in a very unusual direction. If you are struggling to see a natural shape, I do have a tutorial that went live last week on how to use brow stencils to give you that guide for you to fill in. I will link my eyebrow playlist up on the top corner so that you guys can see varying techniques as well as other tips and tricks and more in-depth talkthroughs on how I fill in my eyebrows. So let me just show you this brow in comparison to the one that I haven't filled in. As you can see, it is very, very, very natural. It just gives more definition and shape. And then we have both eyebrows completed. One thing I've noticed with this brow pen is there's no ball bearing in the middle like there is with my MAC one or my Urban Decay one. I can really shake it up to get more ink to the tip. However, there's nothing like that in this, so I'm not sure how long it would last. I feel it would probably dry out a bit quicker than my other brow pens. So I hope you found that useful. Again, if you are a beginner to fill in, in your eyebrows or you are slightly more mature with silvering hair. Please give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it really does help with the algorithm. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you on Sunday with another tutorial. Bye guys!